One of the common questions I receive a lot is, Ishira, how can I pass my examination? And this is something that is on the mind and heart of a lot of students preparing to write, especially the ICAG examination or the ACCA exam or the ICANN examination. On the podcast today, I want to share with you some strategies, techniques, and what you need to actually do to enable you to go into the exam or write the exam with confidence, but most importantly, pass the examination. You ready? Let's go. Number one, start studying on time. This is one of the key things that you need to understand. The reason why a lot of people fail the exam is not because they don't know. It's not because they are not intelligent. Usually, it's because people start studying very late. There are many of you who think that, oh, when you start studying on time, that is not the best thing. So there are people who are waiting and they wait and two weeks to the exam, a week to the exam, then they will take leave. Then they will start studying and they will expect that they will go to the exam or write the exam and pass the examination. But let me say this. If you really want to pass the examination, then you have to start studying on time. Listen, on the average, there are about 12 weeks to go. If every week you are able to strategize yourself so that every week you dedicate some time to study, in addition to attending lectures, which is another thing I will talk about later on, I can guarantee you, you will be able to pass the examination. So don't wait a week to the exam, three days to the exam before you start studying. And this is something that many people don't consider and but there are some people are of the view that oh is she right i am somebody who forgets a lot and so uh when i start studying very early i mean i'll forget no there are a lot of things covered in the syllabus and you cannot use one week two weeks to cover the entire syllabus or to cover the significant portions of the syllabus that will enable you to pass the examination so the first strategy on how you can pass your examination is you start studying on time and listen break your week into sessions into periods and start studying on time if you start studying on time you will be mentally prepared emotionally structured you will understand the scope of the syllabus better and most importantly you'll be able to go into the exam hall write the exam with confidence and pass the examination strategy number two is attend lectures there are many people who are writing the examination but are not attending lectures and they want to do self-study yes i am not against self-study if you are cut for it you are somebody who is capable of doing that you are okay but this is one thing that you have to understand when you put 10 people in a room to study on their own or if you give 10 people the option to study on their own and go and write the examination I can guarantee you, 9 out of the 10 will fail the exam. Because you see, not everybody knows the structure of the syllabus, the structure of the examination, the key areas that has to be focused on, the context of the questions, and how you approach various questions, various topics in the syllabus and approach questions in the exam hall. It is for this reason why you need to attend lectures. No, attending lectures also doesn't mean you just attend any lecture because it is closer to you or you attend any lecture because your friend attends lecture there or you attend any lecture because, you know, you know a lecturer there or whatever the heck. It is important that you select a tuition center that will meet your need. A tuition center that will help you to be able to achieve this goal as quickly as possible. So the second strategy on how you can really, really pass the examination is you need to attend lectures. And sometimes one of the excuses that people have is, Shira, I don't have money to pay for tuition. Listen to me. You rather fail the exam than pass it. You don't have money to pay for tuition, but you have money to buy a new phone. You have money to buy Weavon. You have money to buy shoes. You have money to organize birthday party, but you don't have money to attend tuition that will teach you so that you can go to the exam or pass this exam once and for all and take your life to the next level. You don't have money for that. Let's be realistic as people. Let's be realistic as humans. So I will entreat you. Now, this is also another thing you need to understand. Some of you, you've sat for the paper before and so you are doing a reset. Maybe you've written the paper twice or three times and you are doing a reset. They are like, oh, okay, I won't even attend any lecture. I will just go through my previous notes. 99.9% .9 of the time, I will suggest that even if you are doing a reset, still attend lectures. 
pay the full amount of money and attend the lectures. And you need to have the mindset of a child, meaning that you are attending the lectures as though you don't know anything. That way, when they are teaching, everything is going to come as new, but it's going to sink pe better. It's going to increase your understanding much better than somebody who is learning it new. So if you want to really pass the examination, I will encourage you to attend lectures. Now, if you are attending lectures, definitely our tuition center is one of the best places that you can take your lectures, definitely, because we have all it takes to be able to help you to actually go in there and pass the examination. Talk about our pragmatic teaching strategy. Talk about the technology that we have in place, our online portal, access to recorded videos, access to join our live lectures, doing assignments, performance evaluation test, mock examination, which is going to be discussed, being mentored, being directed, being shown the way you have to be doing everything. Then on our portal, we also have the live practice question there that will help you to work on your timing, your ability to remember or recall things as quickly as possible which is going to be crucial in the examination. So definitely our tuition center is a center that you have to decide to take your tuition at. And it, it doesn't matter where you are located because our lectures are online. We, our live lectures are online via Zoom. And definitely you'll be able to then watch the playback as well in our mobile application, which you can download on the Google Play Store, or the App Store, Insura Premium mobile application or on our website that you can get access to. But the most important thing is this, that you need to attend lectures. You cannot just say, I want to do this on my own. You cannot just say, I want to learn on my own. You have to attend lectures because it will help you to really navigate this journey as quickly as possible and become successful as fast as possible. Number three, develop a steady plan that works best for you taking into consideration your peak performance. Now, it is important that you break, like I said earlier in the first point, your studies or your weeks into steady plans. So if you're going to be studying, then you need to design a steady plan. A steady plan that will help you to be able to pass the examination. And this steady plan, you must design it, taking into consideration where you are very peak. In other words, where you are mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually balanced to study. There are some of you, you have closed from work, you get home at 10 p.m., you eat banku and okra stew or banku and tilapia, then you go and bath, then you come and sit behind book to learn. But you are tired, you are stressed, there is nothing going on, you are feeling sleepy. Then you pick the book and you are studying. Then before you know it, you know, you are gone. You wake up, then your book is lying by you or you've slept on the book or something like that. Listen, that is not the best strategy or the best approach if you want to pass this examination as quickly as possible and achieve your goals of becoming a chartered accountant as fast as possible. This is very crucial. So you need to identify your peak time. What is your peak time? Your peak time is when you are emotionally, spiritually, psychologically balanced. Now, for let me give an example. For ladies especially, ladies in every month go through four stages. In other words, they are going to be in four state in every month and it is important you understand which state you are in and how to optimize yourself so you can become successful let me just share some of the things with you for a lady your cycle the first one is menstruation certainly this is where you know blood is coming out and all that number two is what we call the follicular phase this is where hormones are going to be released from your brain so that they can tick in uh, the lining of the uterus preparing for pregnancy, if possible, then we have the third stage, which is going to be your ovulation. This is where mature eggs are going to be released into the fallopian tube so that in case there is a sexual intercourse, boom, it can be fertilized. Then a zygote will be formed and then boom, boom, boom. It, become, it can become a pregnancy. Then the fourth stage is the luteal phase. And this is the final phase. Now, in each of these phases, different hormones are released, which affect your mood, which affect your 
energy level which affects your activity level so the question then you have to ask yourself is as a lady which phase am i at and what can i do at this phase so for instance at the follicular stage there is a hormone that is released and that increases your energy level your activity level your creativity level so a lot of women who understand this will do a lot of their work in this phase of their menstrual cycle each month and that is what I mean by understanding your peak time. If you are a gentleman, it's the same thing. You need to, I don't mean the same thing like, you know, you're also going to menstruate, you know, you're not going to menstruate. But uh, uh, what I'm saying is that you need to identify at what time am I at my best. Now, in this day and age and the economy and the world that we are in now, it is important to become conscious and create your own environment if you really want to become successful. Because if you really want to focus on the news, the, the, the things going on, the bills, the taxes, the economic crisis, the wars, the sicknesses and everything going on, you will have a mental state. So my take is that, yes, Find out about your peak period and study in those peak periods. But also, be able to put yourself in the position where you can put yourself into a peak state. In other words, you should be able to artificially create a peak state so that you can study. That is why you have to control the, the news that you pay attention to. You have to control the people you listen to. You have to control the books you read, you have to control the movies you watch because all of these things have an effect, your mental capacity, your emotional state of being as an individual and most importantly, your ability to be able to study, recollect what you are studying and most importantly, be able to pass the examination. So find out, develop a study plan, but find out about your peak state. So we have 12 weeks on the average in each examination diet. You have to break that down into sessions so if in a week how many times in a week do you want to study maybe two times maybe three times okay what times okay maybe early in the morning i'll wake up 4 a.m and then i will do whatever 4 to 6 a.m then i'll prepare and go to work or maybe i'm going to be go doing that during lunch period because at work i could take a lunch break and our lunch break is like maybe an hour or maybe two hours and then i can use that time to study a little bit it's not about how long you study it's about how productive that time is stay with me carefully on this one it's not about how long you study it's about how productive you study because i've had people who are like Ishira, i sit behind the book for two hours and after the two hours i can't remember anything it is not about you studying it's about the strategy it's about your environment it's about your methodology so it is important that you find out if your peak time you can get one hour you can get 45 minutes do something solve a question cover a subtopic gradually gradually spreading the session or the, the the syllabus into 12 sessions in addition to attending lectures you will be able to position yourself to ultimately pass the examination so that is a third thing that you need to understand